gotta love a turtle conservancy that has fresh oranges on the trees here, man. Uh, we are in what I consider the world's greatest turtle and tortoise preservation conservancy. It is the Turtle Conservancy here in Ojai, California. Today we're gonna meet some of the inhabitants and see how they're dealing with the heat that they're having in Southern California right now. I'm beating it with a little refreshment. See you in a minute. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. These are juicy, man, really good. Uh, so as you can see, it is extremely hot right now. It's about 95 degrees. So today we're gonna talk to you about what tortoises do to beat the heat. Uh, Southern California, man, has been in the middle of an incredible record-breaking heat wave. It's been up to 115 degrees down here. Now normally, SoCal is what you would consider a Mediterranean climate, which means it doesn't get too unbearably hot and doesn't get unbearably cold. It's pretty even keel. But as you can see, everybody is pretty warm right now. And here is a Galapagos tortoise here at the sanctuary, at the conservancy. Um, beautiful animals and, well, it kind of reminds me of Darwin. It's a pretty girl and she's just soaking right now and she's even in the shade under these papyrus. Um, basically, tortoises like the Galops are from the Galapagos Islands where it will get extremely hot, but they don't do anything besides find shade and or go into mud wallows. Uh, here they have this nice pond that they're always going in and out of. Uh, let's see what we can find over here. It's so cool that we have so much access to this place. Gotta thank Max and Eric Good for all of them. Pretty rude talking about mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, but it's mm, so good. I thought it would be so interesting to be eating an orange while in here. Hmm. Yeah. Let me see. Go for the rock? Mm hmm. Yeah, good job. Oh, yep, here's another glob. In there, yeah. mm. <laughs> All right, bear with me as I zoom in and find focus. Yeah. All right. Look at that guy. He's staying cool. Yeah, he's staying cool for sure. So these guys will be in here for quite some time uh, until the sun goes down and things cool off. For those of you new to reptiles, these guys are cold-blooded. So when they're cold-blooded, that means the animals have to do some behavioral things to regulate their body temperature. Not like us human beings or mammals or birds, which maintain a steady uh, homeostasis within our bodies. Uh, we do that because there's a bunch of different things happening. If we're too cold, we shiver. If we're hot, we sweat. Reptiles can't do that. So they have to do things like move into the shade or move into the sun, depending upon what their needs are, whether they want to cool off or heat up. But anyhow, these soaks are really good. That's why it's so important to always have water available for your animals, even if they're a desert animal. Uh, they're going to need it. But now, as we're gonna find out, these guys aren't too difficult to take care of here in Southern California, but we're gonna meet a species next that actually definitely needs a little bit more help. Hey, so I was just leaving to go over to see our next species, but I wanted to show you this cuteness right here. Look straight down in here, guys. How about a little juvenile galop just beating the heat in the shade? So important, guys, to have shade. It could be it could be the difference between life and death. So outside is about 95 degrees, and I'll bet you if we measured it in there, it's gonna be in the high 80s, and that's something, uh, just those differences right there, a little bit of degree difference uh, means the difference between the animal being alive and being overheated. So how cool is this, a little guy? Unreal, huh? Look at all this space they have. Amazing facility. Oh man, it is way cooler in here, I can tell you that. So these guys are probably thinking, what am I doing? Well, I'm getting up close to some Burmese mountain tours. These are some old gals. Uh, let's see if it's a girl. Oh, it looks like a girl. And actually guys, look at all this leaf litter. This is a species of tortoise from Southeast Asia, from Burma, which is now Myanmar. It's an endangered animal. 
and it happens to be one of my favorite. You guys know these animals in my house, but they aren't this big. And these guys post a challenge for the members of the Turtle Conservancy because they love extremely humid situations. And as you can see, we're in Southern California in a heat wave. So what happens is they turn on the sprinklers here a few times during the day. And what that does is it gives these guys a good misting. They moisten up. It moistens the substrate that they're living on. And that is uh, how they are able to keep these animals going. Now, if you live in Florida, it's perfect weather for them, right? And I always say, uh, that's why I always try and work with species. You hear me go on and on and on about working with species that do well in your environment, uh, in your natural habitat. Let me get rid of that little thing. And so basically, that's why I try and keep the more humidity loving species. Um, that being said, I think it's easier to add humidity. So if you live in a drier part of the world, it's probably easier to get moisture into your little environments and your own little habitats that you've created than it is to remove it. That being said, these guys look fantastic, man. Such a cool species of tortoise, I love them. Definitely way outside their natural range, but they get offspring here. They build nests, as you can see. They've piled all this soil up. This could be from an old nest, or it could actually be a new one. But if it was a new one, they may be attacking me because they stand guard and they like to protect their nest. But I mean them no harm. I'm gonna back up now, and we're gonna go see the final tortoise on a, oh, see, she's coming to get me. If I can't get away from her, I've got bigger problems, don't you think? Hi, dear. You want me to get out of here? I think I should. Anyway, we're gonna meet the final tortoise on our heat wave edition of Camp Kennan at the Turtle Conservancy. All right, guys, what's happening? This is the final stop on our heat wave tortoise uh, journey through the Conservancy. We've picked up Max Maurer, he works here, and he's gonna help us uh, learn a little bit about this species of tortoise. It's the Balsons tortoise, and these guys are in the, the genus Gophrus, so they're related to the gopher tortoise and the desert tortoise. Now, you guys are doing a lot of work. The Conservancy is doing a lot of work with this species. So talk to us about what you guys are up to. Yeah, so the Balson tortoise is one of our, our uh, primary species that we're protecting. We uh, recently purchased over 43,000 acres of Balson tortoise wow. habitat. Uh, in the Chihuahuan Desert in North Central Mexico. So uh, so the Conservancy bought that. That's right. So that means, guys, all the donations, all the money they've raised goes right back into actual in situ uh, conservation for these animals. That's an incredible, I mean, congratulations. I hear it's like the second largest private land uh, purchase for conservation in Mexico. Yeah, that's right. It's that's pretty, amazing. pretty major. Uh, yeah. uh, and it's such a beautiful place. You've got to get down there and visit it. Oh, I'd love to, man. Yeah, I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Beautiful, really? Uh, beautiful environment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We'll yeah, we'll be there, man. Yeah. Uh, well, if it's anything like what you guys have created here in Ojai, uh, it's incredible. But let's. let's so see yeah. It. So the three Bolson tortoises we have here were actually given to us by Ted Turner. No way. Uh, yeah, cool. He's breeding these on his ranch in New Mexico. Um, the idea is that they want to maybe introduce them back into uh, this area in New Mexico where they historically lived okay. like ten thousand years ago. Get out um, of here. So this is. Uh, something that's never been done before i think with any species so really all right so project because it's the hottest part of the day guys we may have difficulty finding a balsam's tortoise but this habitat's incredible man you guys have set up all kinds of succulents and edibles for the tortoises to yeah. eat kind of move around in. look at this place guys this is awesome so you guys you basically here's, here's one right oh here. we got one here come on down in here oh look at this look at how beautiful it is get in there tom it's a little guy Ooh. uh but yeah, so these are these are the largest of the tortoises in the genus Gopherus. Really? Uh, you know, and it's I think the largest terrestrial reptile in North America, actually. So, I did not know that. Yeah, they get big, and uh, you know, some of these are really quite yellow, really remarkable coloration. On and these that's animals. their Latin name, uh, is Flava marginatus. Flava marginatus, yeah, yeah. which is similar to Flava marginata, which is the yellow marginated uh, Chinese box turtle. That's right. So you know, when you guys learn about turtles and you learn about the Latin in them, you, uh, you'll learn another language in yeah, essence yeah, you kind of yeah. learn something which is beyond the animals themselves look at this there's two in there man check that out I love this species or this genus to be perfectly honest when I lived in Las Vegas I had uh, adopted a desert tortoise which I created a burrow for and then he continued to dig down did you do something similar did you so, kind of start the burrows and how this are you is doing pretty this? interesting uh, this is actually uh, like a 
a pipe, a plastic pipe used for, uh, you know, like a culvert in the road. Right. We filled it with DG. Uh, to What's DG? This is uh, decomposed granite. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we filled it with soil and then uh, let the tortoise kind of modify it to it's however neat. it likes. Very but cool. This actually goes down into a bunker underneath that uh, where we could go in and open and see the burrow. Uh, Can we have a look yeah. at that? Oh, man, that's really cool. Check this out. So this is amazing. So this way you guys will have access to the animals in case Just something in case. happened. Yeah. In case there is, look at this guys. Is this, this is why I consider this the world's greatest turtle conservancy or turtle sanctuary. This is just beautiful. Come on in. Oh, get out of here, man. Look at this. It's dark in here, guys. We don't have any light. We you don't? No light? No light. I don't even have a cell phone on me. <laughs> oh, wait, I do. Hold on. We're going to get super old school, and uh, we're going to do this. iPhone. Uh, Watch this, guys. I'm going to turn on the flashlight so that we can see. So in here, it's much cooler because yep. they're actually... They're, they're actually using it, uh, it's in the ground, so it's insulated. And that's the idea, you know, this is their insulation. There may be some Russian tortoises in here. Let's well, let's see what happens in here. Here we go. So this is the, uh, the end of the burrow. Uh, and you see the burrow comes in here, and the tortoise is just going to hang out in this little area here. This allows the tortoise to turn around if it wants to and then go back up. Uh, wow. But the tortoise actually keeps this clean. Right. It, 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 takes its feces or whatever, its excrement, and digs it back up out of the mouth of the burrow and keeps this area clean. Uh, and they, you know, do all the housekeeping. And Look at this, and as the tortoise grows, he'll excavate more and more soil. Exactly. So it'll facilitate his size as he grows. Uh, this is amazing, man. And, and what's great about this is we've shown you different ways tortoises beat the heat. But I have to say, uh, the species gopherus, I say gopherus, but, um, you know, uh, they are really well equipped at living in very harsh desert environments or for the species that I daily encounter, the gopher tortoise in Florida, they can beat the heat there too. Very, very cool, man. Thanks for the behind the scenes tour Absolutely. of a tortoise burrow. You guys are doing amazing work out here, buddy. So uh, we'll let these tortoises get back to their housekeeping and relaxation. <laughs> Woo, it's warm. Warm. Anyway, let's walk around the front because there's a few things we want to talk about these burrows or I'd like to hear from Max uh, just how they are doing the work right uh, in Mexico. You guys have cameras that you actually stick into the burrows? Yeah, we, uh, we purchased a, a burrow camera that we sent down there to uh, um, one of the local researchers is doing a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, surveys on the property and you know when we stick these cameras in these burrows you really see the amount of biodiversity that relies on this tortoise to uh, have shelter you know we find uh, all sorts of snakes insects birds uh, mammals you know little rodents they all rely on this tortoise uh, for shelter. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, so not only are the tortoises providing a way to get out of the heat, uh, they're doing it for a whole list of other animals, and that's why they call them keystone species. That's right. Uh, and man, what an incredible uh, situation you guys have set up here at, this, at the Conservancy. I always get excited coming here. Uh, so thank you, Max, yeah, for you. spending your time. Yeah. And guys, there you have it, another video. Uh, we learned a lot about how to beat the heat if you're a tortoise. <laughs> so get some of these ideas, man. Set up some things for your animals at home, and uh, Leave us uh, oh, comments in the comment section. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to go to turtleconservancy.org. That's right. There you go. Turtleconservancy.org. Help these folks help turtles. Thanks, we'll see guys. you next time.